all right guys welcome back to the road to super sonic legend series we're on to episode number four for today and actually this is my girlfriend's recommendation we're gonna be doing violent santa today so let's make this photo real quick and then we'll get into the episode all right so i'm not gonna reveal how i found this photo i think it's better if you don't know so we're gonna stick with this one and then we're gonna grab violent panda and try to uh, merge his face with santa here so i've actually used this uh violent panda in the previous episodes from the last super sonic legend series uh when i did the i think it was silent panda so this is a pretty good one. He seems pretty stern. You, you know, we always got to look serious at RLCS. They always make us take pretty serious photos. So now it's just a matter of m matching this to uh, to Santa here. And I think I'm going to turn him around. Yep, that'll do. Let's get his eyes lined up there. Looking pretty good. All right, now it's just a matter of erasing a lot of the detail here. And we should be good to go. Oops, there we go. So now we just got to delete a lot of the finer detail and then hopefully get his face to match up pretty well. I'm going to do the same trick I did before where I take his opacity down a little bit. That way we can start to... Oh my gosh, what is happening? Now I kind of want to leave his uh, his beard in front of his face. I had to match up his I had to match up his mouth with the other guy's mouth. So that should be a lot better. So let's see where we're at right now. So so far we've got his, his face behind the glove, which is good. We gotta kind of mix in the the beard with his face. So I think maybe what I'll start with next is his hat. See if I can get the finer detail here. <laughs> oh no. I think I'm losing my mind. <laughs> oh my goodness. Actually, that's pretty good. You know what? I'm actually pretty happy with that. All right, so that's going to be it. <laughs> All right, there it is, Violent Santa in all of its glory. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Uh, it was a lot of fun to make, actually. I know I didn't show you how I found the photo, and that's probably for the better, like I said. But thank you to Shannon for this recommendation. Um, for the next episodes, if you want to drop a comment, I'm trying to check out all of the recommendations, but you guys have been really great with sending a lot of recommendations. In the last episode, we finished our placements. We ended up at uh, Diamond 3 Division 2. Uh, we're at 1021 MMR so far, so we're probably pretty close to uh, Champion 1 here. I think in this episode we might make it. We're not. We're at Division 2, so we might not. We might be just at the cusp of it. But we'll jump into the next game, see how it goes, and hopefully we can get three wins. It's even funnier in the little photo on the far right, I think, actually. It's funny. You can see the gloves just perfectly. It works out really well. No one really, really know that it's Violent Panda behind the, uh, behind the gloves there. What's even better? A little incognito. We got Will J and Hantex on my team against Hammer Fury, Taylor Casey, and look, you're dead. Okay. Oh, good shot from Hantex already. Good aerial off that 50-50 uh, that off the cross, uh, off that uh, bounce there off the ramp. Really good positioning. Really good aerial and rotation. So you can see we're moving into better ranks here, even from the first three episodes. And uh, already consistent. We got the Ford truck making super amount of noise as usual almost as if it matches reality <laughs> good pass across oh could be a good shot good try go for the 50-50 uh, here I'm gonna move down the midfield as I've talked about before you can get pretty much full boost as you can see that's a shot towards target again I'm not even doing much I'm literally at the bottom of the scoreboard I hope I didn't offend anybody with the Ford joke well, let's jump into the next uh, kickoff here see if we can position well my teammates are playing really solid already though great catch good decision Throw across. Should be a cutoff from Hammer Fury. Saw my teammate trying to go for that, so I was being a little bit careful. Just waiting behind. Decent touch. I'll take this since my teammate's pretty far back. I was scared that Hammer Fury might turn around. Good pop off the backboard. Good try. They're all pretty far away, so one person's trying to push up, which is good. They need to. But they're all kind of just sitting in net. Okay, I'll stay with this. Good pop to middle. Will Jay's there, though. Should be a clear from Hammer Fury since he's last. Good cut off by hand text though. See my teammate once again. As I talked about in the first two episodes um, a lot, is that I kind of want to just be uh, the anchor of the team as a solo queue player. Obviously not everyone can do it since you've got two of the teammates. You kind of just have to adapt and read where you should be on the on the field. I'll wait for the next touch. And then hopefully I can stay close to this. There we go. Gotta watch out for Taylor Casey's touch. He ended up missing, but that could have been really bad if he touched that. Wait for Hantex. Making a decent touch, but the boost was stolen from him, so now he's pretty low boost in the corner. Keep that in mind. Will J going for a shot. Decent save. Now I'm ready for this spot. I can put it off the backboard. See, I'm not doing too much. I'm just trying to watch the middle field. 
Let my teammate go for it. He trusted me not to touch it. See, I'm not, I don't have to do too much. You don't have to do anything crazy. I'm going to touch it off the corner. It should roll up the wall. This guy's probably going to have it. I could turn around on this like this. Um, you don't always have to, depending on the position of your teammates. But you can you can cut those off and keep the pressure. You see, like, we're just really honestly getting really good uh, consistent pressure. That was the first opportunity they had. But a great try by the opponent or by my teammate. Watch out for the bumps here. And then try to fake this. Good touch. I can stay with this. Make it pass this middle. Oh, might be in. Oh, good try. Will J probably could have just waited a little bit longer. It would have been a goal, but we're still two goals up, so we're fine. Right here, I see a 50-50 come across. Teammate's already pushing out. So I'll be ready for this next touch in case Taylor Casey touches it. He ends up missing, so it's going to be the next player. The 50-50, though. Good try. Oh, my. Okay, both players go. Once again, just sitting. See how I'm not sitting here? I'm sitting more, like, back here. And in that situation, uh, it's going to give you a lot more time to react to anything. And also, you're just creating, like, a line of defense that's a little bit further down the field. I'll just off the backboard. Good try. Spawn back left, so I'm waiting for Hantex to make a touch. Decent catch. He could actually make this towards target if he gets a pinch. Good try. Should be uh, look your dead's ball here. See, my teammate should be going for this. I'm wait behind him. Okay, both players miss, and I can wait for this. Lots of time. If I hit it towards him, it's going to be bad. So what I do is I pop it up first. It's a good positioning by Hammer Fury, though. Now, people have mentioned that uh, I'm not missing as much as Diamonds might. But I think, uh, honestly, players are playing pretty consistent on my team so far. And they are also Diamond. They're at 1036, 1024. Pretty much the same rank. That's going to be the first game already. And honestly, really solid play by Hantex and Will J. They both played really solid. Basically have the same points as Will J here. Nice job. Really, really solid teammates. Really really enjoyed that game. That's plus 38, so we're still moving up a lot. I don't know how we're getting plus 38. I guess because we haven't lost, the game is just kind of blowing us through the ranks here. Oh, wow, there's going to be a division up, division up already, so we might actually make champ one in this episode. Now, I do, did mention that this will probably be a shorter series because obviously in the first road to SSL, it was 48 episodes long with the first four being the tutorial kind of series thing. Um, but in this episode, it's more uh, just doing the placements as I would. And because we won all 10, we're actually way higher in the ranks already. Um, apparently, people don't mind that too much because, you know, you're kind of learning a lot just from watching even at this level if you're lower in, you know, bronze, silver, or gold. Which makes sense. I'm trying to be, you know, helpful to everybody. Uh, but if this is a shorter series, it's no big deal. We'll just go into a new series, maybe do 1v1s, even though I hate them. <laughs> Let's get into the next game. Oh, boy. We got we got Will J and the other team. Solid player. We got Meatbags and Digital Asset Junkie on my team. I'm your Huckleberry? <laughs> oh my gosh, these names. Wait for him. He's kind of just flailing around. Don't need to worry too much. There we go. Not going to stay with it. I'll wait for the 50 50 off Will J here. So I pop it to the right side. A little bit of a lag. But that's okay. See my teammate trying to touch this. I could have got a half volley. But it's better that I notice that he's just going to ball chase and not notice me. Because I have to be the bigger person and realize that he doesn't see me since he's focusing. Like he's watching the ball like this. I have no idea who's behind me or where they are. So sometimes you want to take your, your hand off the, uh, or eye off the ball and look around for your teammates to be a little more aware. But that's a great play by my teammate. Uh, but Jangles kind of made a bad touch and missed that double. And Asset Junkie just like smashes that to the crossbar. Just watched Tombstone last night. Is this, am I missing a reference? I'm missing a reference. Now I feel old. I already feel old in Rocket League. Did I really need to just feel old again? All right, so that is my boost. Beatbags try to take it, and there's another shot. So we got pressure just from this one aerial touch. I know that like diamonds don't really make like a lot of reads like that super early, but Will J really needs to make a touch. It's weird because he was playing really consistent in the last uh, last game. Definitely missed a, a read he should get. We were having a really really wholesome uh, wholesome conversation in the chat here about Tombstone. I don't know what Tombstone is. I've never heard of that before. I'm gonna get a bunch of comments saying you don't know what Tombstone is. Oh my gosh, there's no way. I'm assuming it's probably Huckleberry that the reference is about. Could be could be Bajangles, to be fair. <laughs> Maybe it is Will J. Dude, everyone has like... Dude, what are these photos? <laughs> we got Will J who's like a, an athlete. Honestly, I'm sorry I'm uncultured, but I don't really watch sports too often. We got Bajangles, which is like a cow, so I don't think it's that. It must be the Huckleberry. Pop this up nice and high with the... When I pop underneath the ball like that, you can see how I doink it pretty high. Um... If you pop near the front, it'll kind of just roll the ball. But if you get right underneath the middle, it really pops the ball super high. Good touch. I can stay here for the clear now. Give me towards target. See if they get a save here. 
All right, so obviously you shouldn't sit still in the middle of the field because you get demoed. Wait for Huckleberry's clear. You see how I wait way far back because I know that when, once a ball is rolling off the wall like that, like right here when the ball's rolling like this. Oh no, my teammates both missed. Um, when the ball's rolling, rolling up like that and you have a player who's following. Okay, I can't show it right now because it's I got to defend. Oh, there we go. Oh, good read. When the ball's rolling up the wall like this and, and someone's running up to like right like this right here to meet it the ball's gonna follow this kind of trajectory away off the wall so you gotta make sure that you're pretty far back to get ready for that um obviously i kind of just <laughs> went way out of position for my team right here i'm gonna try and fake this guy decent 50 50 should go across the net there's no there's not really any worry of pressure when the ball goes way over the net like that i'm gonna try and use the player to my advantage to 50 50 it outwards when a player's facing like this and you're going into the uh the challenge you can pinch it away like a decent touch i'm not trying to make super accurate touches i ended up going on target anyway though i could turn on this but my teammates already in the right position just trying to watch watch what my teammates are doing make sure i cover it i see huckleberry's ready up the wall so you can see people have the right idea they're just not like executing it that well this guy's last so i want to get a 50 50 here and it could be close to on net both players go again this guy's turning i let him touch the ball first now i get a free ball because i let him touch it sometimes just faking it is good and I'll sit behind my teammates to try and be the new third. Right here, I see the ball bouncing off the wall. I can get a touch before him. It's all just about, about gauging your distances and really understanding, uh, nice, uh, where where the players are going to be, how much boost they have, you know, what they're able to do with their car, and whether it's worth going for. Like right here, I can just wait, and then after he makes the touch, I can lock this player into position two, and uh, boop, over one. Oh, fake. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, it's all about just like, you know, rotating around your team, watching what... Oh, my controller's doing that thing where it... Dude, the Y button is not working. My Y button's not working. Hello? Ah! My ball cam's broken. It's back. What the heck is that? That can't be my, that can't be my controller, right? This Rocket League's been really weird. I've been disconnecting my my controller so much lately. Like, I play my controller on other games. Okay, he actually missed. I was gonna touch that. Um, I've been like having troubles with disconnections of my controller in the weirdest ways. Like that makes no sense. <laughs> that makes absolutely no sense. Then my Y button would just stop working like that. Pops off the backboard. Pretty tough read, but I should really get it. Uh, when I pop it off the backboard like that. Um, I get around the ball a little more once I pop it off like this. And you see how I flip to the left a little bit? It kind of helps me uh, angle towards the uh, where the ball's gonna be gonna be headed. Obviously, I went a little bit a little bit heavy on that shot um, for this rank, but I just want to show that's kind of kind of the openings that you can find at this rank. If you just like smash the backboard at these kind of ranks a lot of the times and get ready for the backward read, do a lot of free play training where you just boom off the backboard and try to get ready. Okay, he pops it up. Be able to shoot that just fine. It's not the greatest clear because it was right to an opponent. But uh, yeah, just the backboard honestly is pretty good most of the time. Right here, I'm gonna 50 50 this. I don't want to just throw it away instead of. Okay, he's bumping, so I'm gonna wait for Will J to go for the 50 50. Once the ball is on the floor like that, you lose a lot of your options a lot of the time. So you don't really want to just throw the ball away. Will J beats me here, so I gotta be a little careful. Clear to the side. Ouch. Woo, that's a good shot, but zero seconds. So it won't be it won't be a problem. We got zero zero, so uh, that means we're gonna win this game. Bajangles made a pretty good pinch and then follow up, popped around my teammate, and Meatbags was also thrown off as well. He was confused with that ball. He confused us all. <laughs> oh boy, I just found that funny that comment. But uh, that's gonna be the second game. Not too bad. I hope I'm being helpful with a lot of things I'm saying. I know it's not like the most. Oh, I. Okay, I'm promoted. Wow, that was quickly. We we went right up to division two. I don't even know what. How did that even happen? Okay, all right, we're champ. We're champ one now. So we're actually in the top like seven ranks, I believe, of Rocket League already. Not too bad. I hope I'm being helpful though. Like I said, um, I'm trying to you know cover a lot of bases, even though this series is going by a lot faster than I expected. But let's move on to the last game and see how it goes. All right, for this last game, since our name is Violent Santa, I feel like it's only appropriate to fit that role a little bit. So we're gonna try and get an extermination in this game. <laughs> And uh, I put I turned on voice chat, so uh, we're gonna we're gonna see how this turns out. All right, we're gonna try and get the first demo here. 
See if we can get a get a player when he's not expecting it. Ho 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 ho! Merry Christmas! I hope someone has their has their voice chat on. I think that's just so funny. I just want someone to just like say shut up in the in the voice chat. I feel like everyone has it disabled nowadays though, so I'm gonna stop with the joke. But you know, thought it was worth the effort. See if Hylian clears it across. Underdog's got a 50-50 here for a clear. Wait for his attempt at the aerial. He's going to follow up again. I'm just going to wait for the touch in the corner. And I can sit with this. Honestly, it's not a big deal if they just keep touching these balls in the corner. We got two teammates in the corner, so I'm going to be a little bit careful. The okay, underdog's trying to make a touch. Didn't really work out, though. Good clear across. Okay, they left the ball for me so I can pop it off the backboard. We're now in a champ range. So we're going to be uh, you know, running into players... Who, uh, who are a little more consistent once again. You see that it's really just consistency. Um, that's going to... Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Can you get there? Nice. Um, it's really just consistency so far. Not really anything in like decision making. I feel like you really only see like a clear difference in decision making once you get into like GC2, GC3, and then possibly SSL. Um, right here I'm just going to cut it off. Is it decent touch? I'm trying to watch the demo. I, I knew he was coming behind me, but... See what underdogs does. Bit of a miss. Okay, it's really high touch. Dragon's going out for this. It's a decent touch, but uh, the follow-up comes out through uh, underdogs, even though that was not really uh, what they intended to do. The guy tried to area it forward. Big miss could be good for us. Try to get a 50-50 since I am last here. It's a little bit dangerous. Teammate's going for the mid-boost, so I'm going to try and rotate behind. He's got boost, so he should be turning on this. Get a nice clear. You can just wait for those uh, half volleys off the sidewall. I've talked about that a lot in the last Road to SSL series. Where if you wait for those uh, those balls to hit the wall first, you can use the fact that the momentum's already in your favor to boom the ball way faster. My teammates are playing pretty solid so far, but there's some awkward touches like that. Go for a half volley clear. See if Dragon gets it. Good save. He's probably going to have this again, maybe. Oh, maybe Hunters. Okay. No. Oh, uh, maybe. Oh, oh, no. Okay. I'll take this. And shoot <laughs> And shoot towards the goal. So right there, honestly, one of them should have made a touch. I think uh, Dragon left the ball and then Hunters left the ball. And then he's kind of just jumping, expecting me to go. Since I'm just waiting, um, I I know that I, they have to make a touch towards me. I've talked about this like in the last couple games. Where if you just sit on a, a position waiting for them to make a touch, there could be a good chance of, uh, of you know, keeping pressure. And it also gives your team time to get boost as well. Um, if you hold that line. But there's... Okay, that's a quick forfeit after... Well, not really quick forfeit. There's only 45 seconds left, to be honest. It's been a lot of uh, back and forth. Not too much going on. But I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. <laughs> Sorry for the cringe. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas thing. I don't know what I was thinking. But <laughs> until next time, have a great day. And we'll catch you guys in the next one. Oh, and we divisioned up. Once again, I should stop, I should stop ending the series or the episode before I check if we divisioned up. So we're at Division 3 now. Not too bad.